Hey all, the Andy folks, it is Diecast Buffet here again. Oh boy, it's time for a road course. It is race 23 out of 36 here in 2008, the 2003 uh, Thunder Series uh, season mode played through. And oh boy, we gained a little bit of points on Jeff Gordon. Dale Jarrett gains a little bit of points on us, but uh, Sterling Marlin, Mark Martin and company, they're dropping back into points. So the, the championship battle was heating up. And through 22 races, 17 top fives and 17 top tens, average finish of 7.1. Really happy about that. Um, just going out there, just constantly digging, man. I'm telling you, we're trying to win a championship, man. We're trying to win our third one. We're defending cup champion Gordon going for the seventh championship in his amazing career. So many people thought he was going to get seven championships. If it wasn't for this cat right here, Mr. Jim Jam, uh, Gordon would have pretty much got it. But, um... Let's, let's, let's look up at the mathematical eliminations here. I am willing to eliminate Kevin Harvick, Ryan Newman, Bobby Labonte, and Rusty Wallace. They have been officially eliminated from 2008 Winston Cup contention. The only cats left in the run is running is Matt Kenseth on up. You ain't going to come back from 870 points. Sorry. Uh, you got you to gotta be within 600 and uh, at least 700, I think. There's still a lot of races left. 156 points you can gain per race. Um, so, we're going to Watkins Glen. We're going to run the, uh, let's run, run the Peel Out Rewind Ford. Why not? Uh, let's take a look at our schedule real quick before we head out. Uh, so we're going to Watkins Glen this race. Race 24 is going to be Aaron's 499. If you're just new to the series, we have three races at Talladega. One in the summer, and, uh, that's the second of the three. And then we're going to cap off the summer stretch with the Bristol Sharpie 500, the night race. And after that, well, pfft. We're going to Darlington. Uh, that's when the championship hunt really starts at the Southern 500. So this is kind of the end of the summer, and this is kind of the start of the championship swing. So it's starting to heat up, man. You can feel the championship pressure building. Let's go racing. Alrighty, folks. So we qualified fourth for the Sirius Satellite Radio at the Glen. Our third road course race of the season. Just to recap, Kyle Petty won Sonoma. Yeah, I know. That was freaking awesome. And we won the Daytona road course for the third race of the season on the road course. We have five total uh, in 2008. So let's we'll see how this one plays out. Uh, I believe Rusty Wallace is on pole. Let's go and sit it down. Trexat from New York. The NASCAR Winston Cup Series made a right turn today on its way to Watkins Glen International for today's race, the Sirius Satellite Radio at the Glen. There aren't many road courses on the NASCAR Winston Cup schedule. What will the drivers have to deal with in this one, Barney? Well, the Glen is quite fast for a road course. The problem is getting these big, heavy cars to handle well through the tight turns. A missed braking point can spell disaster for these drivers if they shoot through a corner too fast. Jeff Burton has got to be a favorite at the road courses this year. Ah, yes. The old right turns don't slow him down a bit either. He handles these tracks like the true professional he is. Ward Burton has got to be happy about qualifying so well this week. Well, the extra time that team spent on qualifying this week makes all the difference. I think they should spend extra time every week. Maybe it would help improve their average starting spot. Ricky Craven has been struggling in his qualifying runs this year. Yeah, that's true, but it's not where you are at the green flag. It's where you are at the checkered that matters. He just has to stay focused out there and stay out of trouble, which is sometimes easier said than done when you start in the back. Here we go, folks. It is Jeff Purvis and Rusty Wallace in the Miller Lite Dodge. Just kidding, it's a Ford. So we're up here in fourth place. Uh, this is going to be fun. This is Watkins Glen. We had top fives in the first two road course races. I would love to go for the trifecta and get another top five run here. Look, we're trying to build a stat sheet up for the championship. We need to keep building points on Jeff Gordon, so we need to keep the momentum up. This is going to be a short race. Um, we haven't seen a caution flag in God knows when. But this is going to be a very short race, just nine laps. If a caution happens, well, then pretty much you ain't going to have to pit. I'm going to raise up the camera just a little bit here see if we can try to navigate this one little corner here real quick. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good, we're good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. 
We're good. All right. I just didn't know if Jeff Purvis was going to woe up there. That's why I was trying to get the higher camera angle to know where our front bumper is. Because you know how the AIs are. They will woe up anywhere. So anyways, we navigated the first, uh, you know, the first S's here. This is the speed portion of the track. I love Watkins Glen, I might add. I, I love this part, you know, the, the sunshine through the trees. God, I miss watching uh, Cup Series racing here. It's crazy to think the last time we saw um, went Watkins Glen Racing was in 2019. And my man Chase Elliott, ever since he got his first win there in 2018, has is undefeated. Undefeated since 2018. Chase Elliott is at Watkins Glen. And here it is, 2021. Granted, they haven't ran there this season yet. But that's pretty impressive, if you ask me. So anyways, whoa! Nelly almost right over the 26 car there of Time Bodine. We're trying to battle for a top five. And... Um, Hey, there's a big Winston Cup win on the line here, guys. You know, Kyle Petty winning Sonoma. We won the day. It's on a road course. Wild card racing here up in New York. And, you know, I'm not opposed to having two uh, road course races here a season. You know, I, I, one thing I've thought about is having um, two races at, uh, at Watkins Glen in 2009. How do y'all feel like this? Two races at Watkins Glen in 2009 and reducing Sonoma back down to just one race. Just to kind of add a little bit of flair. You know, I, I might do that. I don't know. I might do it. I might add two races here and then just have one race at Sonoma next year. I don't know yet. We're going to probably make some minor changes to 09 schedule. You never know. Uh, there's rumors that New Hampshire could come back. There's rumors Dover could come back. Uh, Martinsville could be back on the move. You never know. We're going to try to move the 26 car up a little bit. Thank you, buddy. Okay. So we got him out of the way. Sorry, man. Got to get that top five. Uh, your race leader is Rusty Wallace here. So, uh, hey, man, this cat could win. He could win. He darn near won the Daytona road course, and then he took a fat L and had a DNF. So, uh, a little bit of uh, salt in the wound there. Come up to lap thir three out of nine. Already lap three out of nine. That's what I'm saying. This is a super short race. It is the shortest race of the playthrough. Car is certainly not turning like it used to. Uh, the, the front tires are starting to wear a little bit thin. Uh, but I, I feel like at, here at Watkins Glen, the longer you run, the faster that player gets. Because I feel like the AI tire wear is, it is, it is pretty significant. So it's it's kind of like the Charlotte Motor Speedway effect on Thunder 04, where the longer you run, the AI gets slower, the player gets faster because their tires wear wear faster than your yours. So I feel like that happens here at Watkins Glen as well, which is nice. You know, if you can kind of mind your P's and Q's, take care of your car. I want to get in our top five. I really do. I want to get in our top five. Keep the consistency going. Try to. I, I want to gain points on Jeff Gordon. We're only gaining 10, 20 points here and there. I'm waiting for a home run. That's what I want. To get 100 points on him or something, you know? Trying to just get those points, bro. It's so difficult. But in our top five here at Watkins Glen, we pay huge dividends. I want to try to get around him here. I, no, actually, no. Screw it. No, I'm not going three wide there. I'll, I'll wait another turn. I will wait. Three wide and turn one at Watkins Glen. Oh, God, I'm not risking it. The last thing I need is some, some damage on this car to really change everything up. Take care of your equipment, and it'll take care of you. So we're gaining on Jeff Purvis here. The outside pole sitter in that beautiful 36 Pontiac. A little bit of a run. Oh, Kurt Busch. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't want to take Kurt Busch out. I am so sorry, buddy. Roush Katir's going at it here. How bad is the damage? Uh, a little bit of a gash in the, the nose of this car. It's all good, though. So, anyways, lap four out of nine here. Um, your race leader is now Dale Jarrett, who just won the Brickyard 400. So, he's, he's going for back-to-back -back wins. And he certainly gained about 40 points. Not 40 points. So he gained a good amount of points on us after winning that race, and also getting the maximum points day. So uh, he's having a good he's having a good day here at Watkins Glen. Now, I'm not so worried about Dale Jarrett. I'm more worried about insert generic Jeff Gordon, which it's the halfway point. Let's check out where Gordon is. And uh, oh come on! Of course Jeff Gordon's in sixth place here. So definitely need to hold on to this race lead here. 
or not lead, but, you know, fourth place here. Or one of the race leaders, that counts for something on the technicality. We are actually gaining on Dale Jarrett, believe it or not. We are actually gaining on him. So that's pretty, uh, pretty exciting. This is a super difficult pass here through the S's, man. Oh, my God. That is a tough, tough pass there. How did we pull that one off? Thank you, God, for that, because I know I certainly didn't do that. Let's just roll up here. There we go. Navigate through the, the bus stop. But we're gaining on Rusty Wallace and Dale Jarrett. So back to my theory about the AI's tire wear. It is... I think that one's pretty much confirmed here. It's definitely not myth-busted. So, you got the two car there of Rusty Wallace. You got the 88 of Dale Jarrett. I want to get around Jarrett before the end of this race because I want to at least get one lap led. That would give us five bonus points. I'm telling you, man, those bonus points are so important at the championship level. Lap six out of nine here. I, I would imagine if a caution would wave, it'd have to be this lap or they're going to go ahead and wave it uh, complete. Oh, God, this car will not turn, bro. Holy crap. Car just would not turn, man. It's like it locked up. All right, let's keep digging. Trying to march back forward to the two car. I'm just hoping we can at least leave one lap. I mean, Dale Jarrett can win this race for all, you know, if he wants to. I'm not, I'm not going to harp on that. I just want to come away with a top five and a lap lead. That's what I want. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. No, no. Cards getting tight in the carousel. We're going to have some momentum here. Trying to gain on Rusty Wallace. Come on, go to the outside. Die bomb. Perfect crossover there. Don't overshoot it. Don't overshoot it. There we go. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. All right, come up to lap 7 out of 9. Caution pretty much ends this race. And uh, Jarrett's staying out here, so... Everyone has to make a pit stop here, I believe. It might not look like it, but I think everyone's going to have to pit at least once. So, what does Dale Jarrett do? Does Dale Jarrett pit at the last lap, last moment? I don't know. Maybe he's saving fuel? I don't know. Um, I'm okay doing a splash and go if I have to. But I want to get around them. That's what I want. Look, I'm going to try to pass him here. Ooh, that was close. Thank you, Lord. So now i got the race lead here. I just want to lead that one lap. Give me my five bonus points and I'll be okay. Come on. Go, 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 go. Don't, 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 no, no. Car's getting tight again. So Jarrett's either saving, saving a crap load of fuel or something. I don't know. But I'm, I'm going to save fuel if he's saving fuel then. I'm going to slow down. I'm going to save some fuel and keep the distance between me and him just a car length or so. Because if he's saving gas, I need to save gas too. Is he, pit, is he pitting? Is he pitting? Yes. Oh my god. That was... Oh, no. We got a speeding penalty. You got to be kidding me. Oh, oh, oh man. Let's just take... Let's see. What is going to be faster? We'll just take... Um, we'll take right side tires. No damage repair. Full tank of gas. Actually, no. We, we can take... Let's just take a full tank. Screw it. Um, dang it. Well, we did get the five bonus points, so that's good. <laughs> Tough luck for Robbie Gordon. He had a DNF. There's a lot of damage on that 41 car. I think he's out of this race. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. It looked like he wasn't moving. Um, this is not good. We've had this moment before in one of these Thunder games where you, you have the speeding penalty. Oh, my God. Just take two. Just go take two. Take two. Go. 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 Come on. Come on. Oh, my Lord. 11 seconds. Now i got to wait for a penalty. you got to be joking me, man. Oh, Lord. Come on. Go, 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 go. 19 second pit stop. Thank you, Lord, for letting me get through that. Now we got to rally and try to get a top five. Go, car. Oh, Lord. This is agonizing. Go. All right. Stay patient. Now we got to rally. 
Now, we only took two tires there. We had to. If we didn't, it would have been well over 20 seconds, I think. But now, it's all game now. I want as much track position as possible. Your race leader's Mr. Bill Elliott. Mr. Bill Elliott's out front. But I'm all game now. I'm, I'm going for this one. Sorry, Ashton Lewis. Oh, no! Dang it! Caution's out! Well, that's stupid. Caution is out. Bill Elliott might win this race now. Well, that was stupid. I didn't need that because I could have run down these cars ahead of me and got some extra track position. Well, that sucks. It's okay, though. We need to hold off Jarrett. Hey, fifth place, though. That counts for something. Sorry, Jarrett. Yeah, we would have we would have caught those cars ahead of us if we didn't have the caution. And unfortunately, this race is going to end under yellow. And I believe Bill Elliott just won at Watkins Glen. So this, if this is the case, this would be the second win for Everham, and a long drought for the nine car would be snapped. I'll be honest with you, we got to the 46 car. I was in there very aggressive. I, I apologize, Mr. Ashton Lewis. That was my bad. Um. It's over. Bill Elliott is going to be a winner today at Watkins Glen, New York. Great job by that team. Everham gets their second win of the season. Bill Elliott snaps a gigantic winless streak. Great job by them, but man, that was a missed opportunity for us. Hey, another top five. I'll, I'll take it. We're, we're ahead of all the other championship idiots, so that's good. So let's see how this one played out. We got that one lap led, 160 points. Guess what? We, we, we got more than Jarrett, so that's that makes me happy. Uh, let's see where the rest of the idiots. So Gordon gets 11th, didn't lead a lap 130, so 130 for him and 160 for us. Hey, 30-point gain. I'll take it. So we gained 30 points on him. Uh, what about everyone else? Uh, I, I'm sorry, Ashton Lewis. I really am, buddy. I didn't mean to get into like I was I was going there to make contact, but I wasn't trying to dump him. I wasn't because it clearly cost us probably two or three spots there. Um, again, a lot. Martin, Martin, bro. I mean, this dude is just free falling. I mean, my God. We need to give him some more setups because we need to get him going again. Junior, I mean, free falling. Johnson, free falling. Um, let's see where else. Um, Sterling Marlin, dude. He he is just. Ooh, that was a tough day for him. Uh, let's see. Robbie Gordon, indeed, is. Uh, he was out in the second lap, so the road course veteran. Um, Tough break for him. So two of the RCR three is um, well outside the top forty. So not a good run for them. But um, Attaboy to Bill Elliott, Jeff Purvis, Todd Bodine, and Bobby Labonte getting a great top five. Another top five for Jeff Burton as well. Thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Upload these videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday, three p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on Diecast Buffet. I hope you're having a blessed day, everybody. The next race is going to be Talladega in the summertime. That is going to be fun. <laughs> That's going to be fun. And then I think you got Bristol coming up. So, yeah, interesting times ahead. We gain points on everybody, which is very important. Bill Elliott gets a Winston Cup win. Hope you have a great one. Diecast Buffet. Make sure to tell your friends about the channel. Signing off.